Hello, this is Harlan. Now this is the mystery of iniquity. It's already working. And they're taking the name of God, name of Jesus, and they're making themselves rich. And people don't even know that that's of the devil. See, when the devil took Jesus up into a high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And the devil said to Jesus, he said, I'll give you all these things if you'll fall down and worship me. And Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. So you see, if you worship the devil like these men do, you become millionaires. I heard a voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people that you be not partakers of her sin, and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached into heaven, and God has remembered her iniquity. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, in the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. How much she has glorified herself, and lived delicately, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I said a queen, and I'm no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl, for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasures together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your field, which is of you kept back by fraud cry, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord. Of Saboa. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. You have nourished your heart as in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just, and he does not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband man waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and has long patience for it until he receive the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draws near. A young man came to Jesus and said, Lord, what must I do to be saved? And he told him, keep the law. He said, I've kept it since my youth. And he said, sell what you have and follow me. But the young man heard that saying. He went away sorrowful. And had great, he had great possessions. And then said Jesus to the disciples, Verily I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of God. And again I say unto you, It is easy for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed and said, Who then can be saved? Lay not up your treasures on earth. In the beginning of the church, they had all things common. They would bring things to the apostles, lay it at the apostles' feet, and the apostles would distribute it to all the people that had needs, and they were fed. These men here are devils. That they're like the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. They take it to themselves. The Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast.